After three consecutive seasons of winning the Drivers' Championship, F1 fans and analysts seem to agree that Max Verstappen is the new golden boy of Formula 1. Some have even tipped him to become the greatest driver ever in F1 and motorsports history. While these thoughts are valid, we cannot help but imagine what the legends of other motor racing competitions make of it, from Marc Marquez to Alex Palou and Kyle Larson. This is what motorsport legends think of Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen has endeared himself to Formula 1 fans in the last few years. From the thrilling victory at Abu Dhabi on the final day of the 2021 season that secured his first world title to the dominant campaigns he's had in the last two seasons. Max has been driving on a whole different level in the last three seasons. Coincidentally, his reign has overlapped with the influx of new viewers for F1, including legends of other motorsport competitions. But what exactly are they saying? Daniel Suarez Although they compete in different competitions, NASCAR driver Daniel Suarez and Max Verstappen have quite a bit of connection between them. As you know, Verstappen is in a romantic relationship with Kelly Piquet, daughter of former Brazilian racer Nelson Piquet. And it just so turns out that Daniel Suarez is in a relationship with her sister, Julia. So yeah, they must have had some form of interaction. In fact, Suarez claims he and Max Verstappen once discussed NASCAR. Yeah, we actually talked quite a bit about that, the track house racing driver said. And believe it or not, even before he knew about me, he follows NASCAR, he enjoys it and he thinks it's very crazy, and it's a lot of fun to watch. After revealing what Verstappen thinks of NASCAR, Suarez had this to say about the Dutch F1 racer. It's fun to see he's doing everything he's doing in Formula 1 and being very, very successful. I'm doing my thing in NASCAR, and once in a while, maybe in the off-season, we can get together and have a little fun outside of racing. Safe to say, Daniel Suarez is a big fan of Max. Kyle Larson American motorsports racing driver Kyle Larson was in the crowd for the grand finale of the 2021 F1 season in Abu Dhabi, where Max Verstappen controversially edged out Lewis Hamilton. It was Larson's first time watching an F1 race live, and from the early proceeding, it seemed like the race was headed for a boring end. Hamilton led 51 of the 58 laps and looked set to claim an 8th world title. But everything changed when the yellow flag flew with five laps to go and Max Verstappen took full advantage to win the race and his first world title. Like most people in the crowd, Kyle Larson wasn't too sure if what he had just watched was a fair race. The race fan in me was like, man, I wish there would be a caution and this thing can get exciting in the end and produce some drama. And then it happened. Then I was like, well, I don't know if that was particularly fair. Larson also suggested that the organisers may have bent the rules a little bit to make the race more exciting. It sounds like they bent the rules a little bit to get a green finish, and it seems like that was their main goal. I don't really know F1 well enough, but it doesn't seem like they did it to help Max or anything like that. But they did it to make it exciting. Interestingly, Kyle Larson won the NASCAR championship for the first time that same year, and his title-winning campaign was very much similar to that of Max Verstappen. Like Verstappen, Larson won a series-high 10 races, led the most laps, and secured the NASCAR championship for himself after late cautions and quick-fire pit stops for tyres. Agustin Canapino Max Verstappen may be a three-time Formula 1 champion, but not everyone sees him as the world's best driver. At least not Argentine IndyCar driver Agustin Canapino. While speaking to Fox Sports in September 2023, Canapino tipped his IndyCar colleague Alex Palau as a more complete driver than Verstappen. In my eyes, Palau is more complete than Verstappen. For me, what Palau does in IndyCar is really like being an alien, but it's very subjective opinion. Emphasizing his point further, Canapino said, Palau is outstanding because in my opinion, he is the best driver in the world. If he is not the best, he is among the three best. Considering he's an IndyCar driver himself, it's very likely that Agustin Canapino's opinion is clouded with bias. Before we reveal what other legends like Alex Palau and Marc Marquez think of Max Verstappen, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel so you get notified first every time we post thrilling videos like this one. Alex Palau After watching Canapino describe him as a more complete driver than Verstappen, Alex Palau knew it was probably not the best thing to say. So the Spanish IndyCar responded by saying, Verstappen is also an alien. Don't let Verstappen's followers criticize me. It was a diplomatic response from Palau, one that allowed him to accept Canapino's compliment without offending Verstappen's followers. This was a similar terrain for Palau and he navigated it skillfully, just as he did in July, 2021. Locked in a chase, Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton collided at the cop's corner in Silverstone. 
This collision, which sent Verstappen's car off track, sparked a lot of debate among motorsport fans. Some supported Verstappen, while others defended Lewis Hamilton. Alex Pala, however, sat firmly on the fence. I expect things like that to happen. What would I do if that were to happen? I don't know. For sure, if I was Verstappen, I wouldn't take it easy on Hamilton. But if I was Hamilton, I would have gone for it. In my opinion, they both did what I would do in their places. Like everyone else who followed the 2023 F1 season, Alex Palau was awed by Max Verstappen's dominance throughout the campaign. I believe that Verstappen is at a higher level than the rest. Even if you have the best car, it does amazing things and with ease. In recent times, Palau and Verstappen have raced together and against themselves in sim racing. And after some deep thinking, the two-time IndyCar champion believes Max is just as good in the virtual world as he is in real life. We do things together in the sim racing simulator, and there he is also the best. He has an extra that the others do not have, so I think he is above the rest. Marc Marquez Despite the age gap between them and the contrasting differences in the machines they control, Marc Marquez and Max Verstappen have a lot in common. The Spaniard dominated MotoGP, riding for Honda's factory team with support from Red Bull. Verstappen, on the other hand, drives for Red Bull in Formula 1 with engine support from Honda. Critically, Marc Marquez announced himself to MotoGP fans at a young age. Becoming the youngest person ever to win a MotoGP Grand Prix at 20 years and 60 days in 2013. Three years later, Max Verstappen became the youngest ever driver to win a Formula 1 Grand Prix at 18 years and 228 days old. It's almost as if their careers were destined to follow the same path, except one is four years older and a super skilled biker, while the other is a beast behind the wheel. During an exclusive interview with Racing News 365, Marquez had good things to say about Max Verstappen. I like Max Verstappen a lot, mostly because he is a real killer. To win, to be successful at all, or to be a hero, you also have to be a killer. What does that mean? That you don't care about anything except the one sacred goal, winning. Shaw has the mindset of a serial killer whenever he is on the track and he believes Max Verstappen has the same mentality as well. How you achieve that goal and how you actually win doesn't really matter. His first priority is winning. And in that respect, we have the same mentality. I, therefore, really like him a lot. With all of these comments, it's clear that Max Verstappen is highly revered among motorsport legends. And that's set to continue for the foreseeable future. What do you think about Verstappen's F1 career so far? Let us know in the comment section below.